chers auditeurs. Dear listeners. Bonjour. Welcome to Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 5. Saison 5 dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et and maintenant, now, lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Dear listeners, good morning. This is Esther on behalf of Anne Charlotte. It's good to meet you again in season 5 of Comme d'Archi, episode 52, with a text by the Atelier NDF, a landscape office, about a subject in Bordeaux and climate changes. But first, let's represent the NDF agency, which was in charge of the Frefosse study, presented in English in issue season 3, hashtag 2. Atelier NDF is a French landscape agency that works on projects on a European scale. Its director, Nicolas D. F. Fernandez, founded it in 2020 in the middle of COVID he realized that COVID had in fact led to a rediscovery of a sense of nature and its landscapes. And today, there are more and more projects for the renaturation of cities. There is still a lack of expertise in the urban teams, but the projects as a whole are making progress. With his team, which he takes great care of, Nicolas presents the Bordeaux project. Initially, there was a mobility study commissioned by the Grand Port Maritime de Bordeaux, launched in 2019. How to reduce the place of the car and anarchic parking in a neighborhood in full mutation. The port then owns most of the land around the basins in Bordeaux. With the Plan d'Aménagement et d'Orientation, led by Bordeaux Metropole, the City of Bordeaux, and the ANMA Agency, the residual spaces are destined to transform into breathing spaces in a district marked by a strong industrial history and a certain density. Following the delivery of the mobility study, we were awarded with the Take Care Bus Design Office, the Project Management Market, for the requalification of the G1, G2 and H37 spaces. G1, G2 are 8,000 square meters parking pockets that have become superfluous since the construction of a superstructure car park. The storage space near the port center, opposite the new Museum of the Sea, is no longer in immediate use. Also, the forecourt G1, G2 will host a new urban square, won by disengagement of the asphalt of the old parking lot and the space H37, will become a public garden in direct contact with the water of the basins on also 8,000 square meters. From this initial premise, purely of logistics and management of road flows and soft mobilities, we wanted to push the subject of plants. Our added value as a landscape designer and botanist. What to plant, what plants instead of concrete in a neighborhood built on old embankments with little or no soil. To answer this question, we approached the Botanical Garden of Bordeaux, a valuable partner for many years. It is together that in 2015, we set up the observatory of the neglected urban of the city of Bordeaux, mapping all fallow lands of more than 1,000 square meters in order to know exhaustively the plant richness. Naturally, spaces G1, G2 and H37 were not represented on this map for lack of vegetation. We had to zoom out to interrogate the nearby soil and understand what type of soil will correspond to the basement historically present under G1, G2 and H37. Find that soil. What contained of limestone, organic matter, 
watt capacity of water retention. All these elements allowed us to define the specification of the composition of the future land that will be installed in the planting pits of the square and garden, and thus adapt the most biologically accurate plant palette. Of course, an anticipation of climatic conditions led us to make models of the adaptation of a particular species. This is how we deliberately excluded from the final plant palette the Kirkus robber, considered too sensitive to repetitive heat waves. So we will find mountain ash, strawberry tree, pine or cistus, a territorialized plant palette adapted to the border climate context for many years, we hope. The studies were conducted in permanent consultation with the Atelier des Bassins Flow in order to refine the subject and the conception of future achievements. Today, we are in the drafting phase of the contracts to begin work by June 2024. Led by BMA, Delegated Contracting Authority, many innovations have been developed, such as the cultivation contract with nurseries, guaranteeing the supply of trees in a very tense carrot market. Delivery is scheduled for 2025 with collective opening moments of the site. Dear listeners, thank you for tuning in. Let's meet again next week for Newcomb d'Archi in English. And until then, take care of yourselves. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. And thanks to the sound engineer who was collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcasts or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon. And until then, take care of yourself.